If you've been looking for a Dribble Tut and you just can't find one, I got you. I'm gonna go over how to do some of the most broken moves, how to speed boost properly, how to do some of the moves that some of the best players in the game do, how to quick stop, even though that's not really like a Joe move, but I'm, I'm gonna go over how to quick stop. I'm gonna go over things that a lot of people don't know how to do and a lot of things that only like the best players know how to do, you know? So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, man. I am on a 6'6 six, six build, so this isn't for like a little 6'2 guard, but majority of the things that I'm gonna be teaching, you can do on a 6'2 guard. So you have to be able to speed boost too. You at least need an 85 ball handle. But yeah, without further ado, I'm stop wasting time. First, we gotta get our six right. <laughs> All right, so hop into my sigs. Like I said, I'm on a 6'6", so I don't get like Kyrie dribble style and all that, but I do feel like I have some of the best sigs for a 6'6". So starting off with the dribble style, don't be running, where is it, Magic Johnson or Zach Levine. Either put on LeBron James or Pro. These two are the best in the game. Not D-Book, LeBron James or Pro. Simple as that. And I'll show you why later on, okay? Next for our size up, we're gonna be running De'Aaron Fox. And in my opinion, this is probably the fastest escape for taller guard builds. I know some people use Jalen Suggs. I think the dribblers be using that. I know last year, a lot of people like T-Mac. We're going with D Fox. In my opinion, it's the best. So with the regular breakdown combo, you can either put on Raffer Alston or you can put on De'Aaron Fox. They pretty much do the same thing. They just look a little bit different. They both just take a step back. I'm rocking Raffer Alston. One of my subs put me onto it. So I'm gonna keep that on. For the aggressive breakdown combo. For the dribble touch, I'm gonna be showing y'all John Morant's, but normally I'd be running Kevin Durant. If you put on John Morant's, you can do some very glitchy jaw flip stuff. It's some Steezo looking dribble moves, and I'll show you how to do it. So just put on John Morant. Jimmy Butler escape. I think it's better than Kimba, and personally, I think it's better than Trey. I think Jimmy Butler is the best escape in the game because it's between the legs and his crossover are extremely good. And I'll show you how to do both. Next for our common moves, we're gonna have Pro, and I'll show you how to do that as well. The crossover, John Wall most broken thing in the game. Jamal Murray's behind the back. If you can get Tyrese Halliburton, you can put it on. I still think Jamal Murray is better, but spin moves, I don't do them. So I just have on Luka just cause. For the Hezzy, put on Tyrese Halliburton. If you can get this, put it on. You should be able to get it. You need a 79 ball handle. Put on Tyrese Halliburton. For the step back, Jimmy Butler. We don't do that John Wall, LeBron step back around here. Mm -mm. Put on Jimmy Butler. And then triple threat style, Kobe. And that's pretty much it. So these are the sigs I run. This is what works best for me. And now I'm just getting to like how to do some of the moves. Actually, most of the moves that I do. So let's head to the shooting gym. If you don't know where the shooting gym is, I know a lot of people didn't know. If you pull up your map by just tapping the middle button, boom, it's right here. It's like over right above rise. It's right here. And so once you start going that way, boom, there's the shooting gym. And so actually, I think you have to be at least like a 70 overall. It's something like that. You got to be at least like a 70, 75 overall just to walk in here. So if you're trying to come in here as a 60, it's not going to work. So just letting you know that you might have to be an 80. I don't know. I know you have to be a specific overall though. So let me go ahead and knock out my drill real quick all right so starting off i'm gonna first teach y'all how to speed boost properly because a lot of people that get the game they just try to instantly dribble and they're running around the court like this and like oh my god my player's moving all slow oh you set me up this build sucks it can't run you're not speed boosting properly so this is what a normal speed boost looks like it just looks like that or like that and then there's also this type of speed boost and i'm gonna go over that as well so there's like three-ish type of speed boost you can do and so just to do the normal speed boost just to just boom run like that all you want to do is do some escape move and run so to do an escape oh i don't have my controller plugged in what the heck i'm trolling there we go now i got my controller plugged in so to do any escape move all you want to do is hold r2 and flick your right analog stick either straight across to the right straight across to the left diagonally up left or diagonally up right so in this case i want to run to the left i'm just going to hold r2 and flick my right analog stick to the left so boom that's like the tyree that's like the hezzy but it's part of the escape moves in a way so i'm gonna do that move and once i see my player start like start that animation i'm just gonna simply hold up hold diagonally up on my left analog stick and start running that way so boom and then you just keep running now you do have to time it correctly or it's just not gonna work so boom it look it looks like that that's the speed was out of a hezzy which is kind of like an escape practice that because once you figure out how to do that oh i messed up once you figure out how to just speed boost out of that it catches a lot of people off guard especially people that don't know how to do this themselves so practice doing that it might take some time it might take a couple minutes but that's just speed boosting out of a hezzy now to speed boost out of like an escape escape which is like this boom that's an escape all you want to do is just hold r2 once again and if the ball's on my right hand and i want to go to the left i'm gonna hold r2 of course and i'm gonna flick my right analog stick diagonally up left so i do a crossover so boom that's a crossover or that's a crossover escape that's jimmy butler's escape move and then you just have to time it just like the hezzy so as soon as i see him like start that animation to do that crossover i'm just gonna run that way hold my right analog stick up diagonally left and 
boom so it does take time figuring that out but once you master it you're gonna get it pretty much every single time so that's just doing the crossover and you can go both ways so like if i want to go to the right i can do that but jimmy butler also has a really good between the legs escape so to do a between the legs escape all you want to do is just keep holding r2 and if i want to go to the left this time i'm just gonna flick my right analog stick straight across to the left not diagonally up not diagonally down straight across to the left boom that's his between the legs or that's the between the legs escape and if i want to run out of it you just have to time it again i'm gonna do the move boom oh whoa <laughs> do the move boom run out of it that's how that's how you do it and so that was a slower animation but i still got a speed boost out of it here's the faster animation like that and like i said it's just gonna take time um figuring out how to speed boost like this but this is like actually a key key essential thing to know as a guard on how to like how to speed boost because i'm i get i oh my god it's bad how much i get comments every day like oh my god my build's so slow and it's just because you're trying to run just like that it, it doesn't work that way you can't you can't just run like that that's lebron's dribble style kicking in it's not gonna work and so the reason we use lebron dribble style is because you can do this you can just spam left right like this and this is very very broken i'm not gonna lie and so to do that i mean you just you don't have to hold on uh, you can you have to hold r2 and if the ball's in my right hand i'm just gonna hold my left analog stick like diagonally down ish diagonally down ish to the left and boom or eh, it feels diagonally eh, i guess it's straight across i don't know but pretty much you just want to just it's just left writing like that, that's why we use lebron in pro because this is extremely fast. it's hard to guard this in game so and then when you start getting good with dribbling you can start putting that like in with your dribble moves like that so that's why we use lebron dribble style and so i just went over how to do like the basic speed boost now i'm gonna go over how to do the 2k21 speed boost and so once again this is what this looks like it's oh my god it's really fast i do it a lot on accident just because like I've, I've trained my brain to do it so much but it's very fast a lot of people say this is a normal speed boost it's not and it's not a normal speed boost because any build can do it as long as you have a 40 ball handle you can do it so my popper does it my 610 used to do it you can do it in any player on my team it's very broken so starting off if the ball's in my let's do left hand the ball's my left hand you have to hold r2 and all you want to do this is the way that i do it hold r2 flick your right analog stick diagonally down to the left to the same ball hand side and right after you do that you want to hold your left analog stick diagonally down left as well so you should get like this little jumping animation like this little hop animation so like that and you just want to keep running out of it so it, it looks like that i mean it, it's kind of hard it might be kind of hard getting this down but yeah you just want to flick your right analog stick diagonally down left and your left analog stick diagonally down left and yeah your player will like do that hopping animation just sprint so once again look at the hand cam i know i might not be explaining things the best but once you figure out how to do that move oh my god I i'm t it, it kills people bro because let's say you're checking the ball right i play the ones a lot if i'm in the center right and i'm about to check the ball and the dude just passes me the ball i'll wait here for a second i might do a jab step or something and then i'll just hit them with a the boom and i'll blow right by them all the majority of my points come from that alone when you do it in game you blow by people so practice doing that and practice going both ways because i'm gonna say for like the first First month I figured out how to do this I could only go to the left doing it I, I could not go to the right doing it but now I know how to go to the right so looks like that and yeah that's the two get to one on speed boost now I'm gonna go over like some of the standstill moves that you're gonna need to know how to do so the first thing I'm gonna go over is just simply the behind the back and how to actually do the behind the back spam so that way you, you can do it like this very very easy so to do the behind the back Jamal Murray's behind the back or Tyrese Halliburton just hold r2 flick diagonally down right or left just flick diagonally down to the opposite ball hand so boom just like that very easy and so to spam the behind the back so to do it like this get it every single time like that all you want to do is do the behind the back but right after it do a hezzy and then behind the back again so to do a hezzy you just flick your you just hold r2 and flick to the same ball hand side so boom that's a tyree tyler and hezzy so i'm gonna do the behind the back hezzy behind the back again that's how you spam it <laughs> a lot of people don't know how to do that which is like really weird to me but yeah you just behind the back hezzy behind the back again hezzy behind the back hezzy and boom you just keep doing that over and over and over again and if you're using screens like if you're playing the threes and you're a little guard and you kill and you hit someone with that first behind the back and you do it again boom they hit that screen you'll be wide open not every time but a lot of the times so that's a behind the back next time i'm gonna go over how to do a snatch back and so since we have jimmy butler's escape and jimmy butler's step back is gonna look the same so this is what the snatch back looks like and it's a very good move because it like it's a resetter if you start messing up you can just start doing the snatch back reset your get, gather your thoughts you know and to do it you just want to hold r2 and if the ball's on my left hand i'm gonna flick my right analog stick to the right and my left analog stick straight down so boom just like that boom just like that very easy oh if the ball's in my right hand i'm gonna flick my right hand stick to the left left hand stick straight down so boom just like it's really easy to do and once you figure it out you can just start spamming it back and back 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 and so touching on how i said it's gonna look the same because we have jimmy butler's escape and jimmy butler's step back um when you hold r2 and just flick just straight down on your right stick you get a snatch back as well but that's jimmy butler's 
step back. That's not his. Let me, let me just show you. Let me show you. Let me, let me show you what I mean. So like, if I were to switch my sigs and let's say I put on instead of Jimmy Butler's step back, let's say I put on John Wall. Right. Boom. Let's go back in. Oh, this is a big crip right there. <laughs> if I just hold R2 and flick straight down, I'm gonna get John Wall's, like that's his step back animation. That animation right there, that's the step back animation. And to spam that, actually, if you just flick down and do a hezzy, you can keep spamming it just like the behind the back. So down, hezzy, that's how you spam John Wall's step back. So that's his step back animation. If I do it the first way I taught y'all, how if the ball's on my right hand and I flick just straight across the left and straight down on my left stick, I don't get this animation. I'll get this animation like that. I'll get a different one. So that's like, that's why like depending on your SIGs, it's gonna look different based on which step back you have. I don't like using John Wall because you don't get much separate. Like my player's not, he's going forward whenever I do the step back. And me personally, I don't like this step back just cause it also comes with LeBron step back. So and to do LeBron step back, if you don't hold anything, you literally just flick straight down. Boom, you get the LeBron. I think it takes no skill to use it, so I don't use LeBron step back whatsoever. So I'm gonna go right back to Jimmy Butler. But that's like the different step backs in this game. Jimmy Butler step back animations are the same though. So I don't know, you, you, you just gotta play around a little bit and, and figure out what I'm talking about, so. All right, so the next move I'm gonna go over. I guess I can teach you how to momentum. This is a fundamental move you should know how to do as a guard. You're probably not gonna be doing it intentionally, but it's a momentum, it's very easy. You wanna make sure you're holding R2 the entire time. Like most of these moves, you pretty much have to hold R2. And if the ball's in my left hand, I just wanna flip my right analog stick diagonally up to the right and right after my left analog stick diagonally up to the right as well so boom that's the momentum and depending on which i think escape you have on it's either escape or size up depends on how fast of an animation you get so i don't know which one it, I, it might be your escape i'm not sure but that's what my momentum looks like oh, boom like that it's not the fastest but once again we're not doing this move for like speed you just do it because like you want to incorporate it whenever you're dribbling in so like that whenever you're comboing up it just looks a little bit more cleaner whenever you do momentum that's the momentum it's really easy and you can spam it so like that it's oh it's not uh, <laughs> i'm left stick canceling it's nothing like how it used to be in like 2k17 the momentum's Nowhere near as overpowered as, as it was back then. Still a good move to know though. Next, I'm gonna go over how to do the glitchy between the legs, which is like this. It's not a fundamental move, but it is a really good move to like set up defenders. And to do it, hold R2, once again. If the ball's in my right hand, I just wanna flick my right analog stick straight across to the left. And right after, follow my left analog stick straight across to the left as well. So, boom. That's how you do it between the legs. If I wanna go to the right, I just flick both my right analog, or my right analog stick to the right, left analog stick to the right, and boom, just like that. If I wanna spam it, just go back and forth. So. Boom, 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 boom. Some people call it the crab walk. I call it glitchy between the legs. A lot of names for it. Very good move. Majority of the time I start off my combos by doing that. Like I'll do, uh, 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 and, then I'll, and then I'll start dribbling. But you just gotta be like careful because you might start losing stamina. And in here, you don't you don't see your stamina. So you gotta practice some of the stuff in game actually. And I don't recommend going to the Gatorade facility because you actually lose stamina in there. And then it gets really hard to like practice dribbling if you don't have Handles for Days Hall of Fame and a 99 stam. So coming in here is the best in my opinion. And so, so far I've taught you I had a speed boost how to escape properly 21 speed boost momentums glitch between the legs i taught y'all the jamal murray some people didn't know the john wall crossover so to do the john wall crossover just run up the court and flick your right analog stick diagonally up to the opposite ball hand side so in this case the ball is my left hand i'm just run up the court i can walk up the court actually flip my right analog stick diagonally up right and boom oh snap <laughs> <laughs> and boom there you go that's a john wall crossover very 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 broken move in this game they need to take it out that and the lebron step back don't need to be in the game it's too overpowered and even when you do the 2k21 speed boost if you do that you can run straight into the john wall crossover so 21 speed boost oh let's see let's try to do it right for you so boom just like that you have to be careful with doing that though because it will hit the opponent's leg or their feet whatever and they, they'll get a steal so don't be doing this all the time but it is a really effective move on the ones court yeah that's Jamal, that or that's john wall's uh crossover and one thing with this crossover i can't remember which one of my subs did it to me he's a really good player i think it was, his name was risk i can't remember he was doing this j just look he would run up the court do the crossover then run out and fade i've never seen someone do that to me before or intentionally he was doing it intentionally it's oh my i wish i clipped it it's very very broken so to do that once again you just do the john walk crossover boom and once your player like he's almost done moving like as soon as he's finished with the john wall so boom like he, he just finished the john wall animation you just want to run to your opposite ball hand and that's doing the lebron james dribble style so it's doing that so you're doing you're pretty much just doing the crossover and then just running out of it so john wall boom run out and then he would fade it you don't have to fade it but you probably should he was oh man it's very broken i started doing it recently it pro probably one of the best moves in this game so i'm gonna try to do it one more time crossover 
boom, run out, and then you can like shoot it or whatever. So that's that move. Another move that like you can do running up the court is called the fat stop. And the reason it's called that is because I think a dude named Fat Stop created it. But this is what it looks like right here. Boom. And it's pretty much a crab move. So if you don't know what a crab move is, when you crab a defender, it's pretty much getting in front of them. It's doing some move, normally like a crossover animation, and you're in front of them and you can just shoot. So like for example, my how my chair is behind me. Right now I crab my chair, if that makes sense, you know, because I'm in front of him. <laughs> so to do the fat stop, you just want to run up the court. So just just run up the court, it doesn't matter. And as soon as you want to do that fat stop, as soon as you want to do this animation, you want to let go of R2. Make sure you're not holding R2. And you want to rotate your left analog stick. Let's say the ball's in your right hand. You want to rotate your left analog analog stick counterclockwise from like three o'clock to nine o'clock so like that he just throw the ball at my face <laughs> okay so i'm gonna run up go from three o'clock to nine o'clock three o'clock nine o'clock boom that's how you do it if the ball's in my left hand i'm gonna go from nine o'clock to three o'clock so run up no r2 boom that's how you crap people or that's the fat stop that's such an odd name i don't know why he made that his name but you're really not going to need to know how to do that move oh i take that back because I, I play some people that do it on the twos i don't do it on the twos personally but it's really like a move that you do in like pro am rec threes really a, a move you do when you're going not coast to coast but on a full court setting like twos you don't really do it ones you don't really do it threes fives prime whatever probably gonna do it so now unfortunately i'm not gonna go over misdirections i've gone over that so many times if you want to learn how to do a misdirection just go to my past videos or my past dribble tuts i've made like at least like five dribble tuts already just watch those because it takes kind of a long time explaining them i'll actually link the videos in the description so you don't actually have to go searching for them so i'm not gonna go over misdirections but the next move i will go over is the jaw flip and so this is what the stizo weezo jaw flip looks like boom it looks like that it's a it's a really like glitchy move and then once you get good at doing it you can start doing stuff that looks a little bit like that you know so it, it, it is we're we're, we're we're getting there you know so to do the jaw flip um it's doing john morant's back down or break down aggressive combo whatever and you just want to hold r2 hold r2 and flick straight up on your right stick so boom you're gonna get john morant's whole animation crap that's his breakdown combo whatever and pretty much as soon as the ball reaches your player's left hand if the ball's in your right hand right now he's gonna do a crossover and it's gonna hit his left hand so boom it just his left hand once you see it hit your player's left hand you want to continue to hold r2 you want to hold r2 the entire time and you want to flick up on your right analog stick and diagonally down right on your left analog stick or diagonally down whichever side the ball first started in so in this case right so Flick up, boom, left hand, and I kind of messed up, but you see it still did like a little glitchy animation. So let's try to get the good one this time. So flick up, boom, boom, just like that. That's the jaw flip. And so a lot of people try to do this move and they do it too fast. And if you try to do it too fast, it's gonna just look like, it's not gonna work, right? It's just not gonna do it. If you do it too slow, it's not gonna work. It's just gonna make you do it again. So like, it's a very specific timing. It takes time to practice or it takes time to master it. And yeah, I'm like, I'm trying to run out of it and stuff, but that's just how to do the jaw flip. If you wanna do like the little spins and crap, whatever out of it, you wanna do the jaw flip. And once you get to the step where it just reaches your other hand, you can just flick your right, or you can start spinning your right analog stick either from like three o'clock to nine o'clock, nine o'clock to three o'clock. You can just start spinning it in different ways and your player's gonna get different animations. So I'm gonna do the jaw flip and then go from three o'clock to nine o'clock with my right analog stick and boom you see i did like some spin right there so that's one. it that's one little move you could do right that's another one that's a half spin now i'm gonna go from 12 o'clock to three o'clock let's see what i get or i'm gonna go from nine o'clock to three o'clock all right boom did a spin like that uh let's see what else could i get N another spin there's one animation where you do like this really really quick spin i don't know how i'd be doing it um, there's another half spin, you know, you just got to play around with the stuff. So I don't know. It, it's some Stizo stuff. One of my subs put me onto it. That's how you jaw flip. And so speaking of like little glitchy moves, there's a move called the tail flip. <laughs> it's not like skateboarding moves, the tail flip. And to do it, you have to do it out of a misdirection. And so check out my past videos on how to misdirection. And so I like to do it out of the behind the back misdirection. So like that, and pretty much what it is, you just do the misdirection and you just run straight back. So you'll do the misdirection, boom, run straight back. And then you can like start doing half spins and stuff out of it. So boom half spin you know stuff like that and start dribbling i don't like doing that stuff in game because people like to steal the ball a lot but that's just how you do a tail flip though a lot of people gate keep how to do moves like these i don't know why they think that they're so much better than other people but that's how you tail flip now i'm gonna talk about that rafer austin sig that we equipped and this is what it looks like right here your player just starts walking back a little bit and i love doing that because you start you start walking back boom and then you can just start dribbling again oh man i messed up so boom boom 
and then you can just start dribbling. So to do it, just flick up on your right stick. So boom, that's all you have to do. No R2, no nothing. Flick up on your right stick, boom. And so if you put on deer and foxes, like I said earlier, you also get like a step back animation. And you can actually just shoot out of it too if you want to. So you can just boom, boom, shoot. Or out of deer and fox, he just does one uh, between the legs and just shoot. So a lot of people actually be throwing me off guard when they shoot out of it because I don't expect them to shoot. So that's how you do Raffer Alston's, I think like breakdown combo, whatever. Now another move I'm gonna go over is the combo moves. And currently I'm using pro and I use pro because you get this really glitchy crossover like that, like a really quick crossover. So to do it or to do your combo moves in general, if the ball is in your right or left hand doesn't even, eh, if the ball's in your right hand, right? You can either just flick left to right and you get a combo moves animation. So boom, that's a combo moves animation, like a little between the legs right there. You see, boom. That, that's the common moves animation. You just keep flicking left, right, he does that. If you flick from right to left though, like same ball hand side to the opposite ball hand side, you'll get a different animation. So he does like a little pound dribble and then crossover. So boom, crossover. If you do that move, you go right to left and then do another crossover, your player will get like a really quick crossover. So boom, boom, cross really quick crossover. So probably didn't look that fast then, but if you like start dribbling after it, it's really fast. So boom, boom, I messed up. <laughs> so boom, boom, cross. Boom, you see how, how like quick that crossover was? And you also get that quick crossover when you do the other combo moves. So boom, boom, crossover, very quick cross. You know, it, when you start messing around practicing, you'll figure out what I'm talking about. And so that's pretty much it for the like pretty basic stuff. Now I'm gonna spend some time talking about three moves, bro. L2 cancel, left stick cancel. Oh, actually quick stop in De'Aaron Fox's spam move or how to spam De'Aaron Fox. So it's four moves. These are the hardest moves you're gonna like learn how to do. Um, the quick stop is probably the easiest, but the left stick cancel, L2 cancel, D-Fox spam, they're gonna take time to learn. So I, don't stress when you can't get it. Maybe day one, day two, it might take three to, it, it might, you might not ever get it. So I, I don't really expect most of y'all to be able to do this stuff. First off though, I'm gonna go over the quick stop because it's the easiest. It's a quick stop. I don't care about whoever's method you've watched. I don't care about this dude's method, that dude's method. This method is the quick stop. There's no doubt about it. It is the quick stop. To do it, let me just show you what it looks like first. And it's very broken. You seen that? I stopped right on the, there's no better quick stop in the game about it. There's no arguing this, there's no denying it. This is the best quick stop. And a lot of people don't do it. I don't know why a lot of people don't do it either. I really only play people that have watched me do it, do this move. Outside of that, I don't watch no stage guards do it. I don't watch no E-League players do it. If they do it, they'll do it by accident and they don't know how they do it. Had to get that off my chest. So to do the quick stop, all you wanna do is do some escape moves, some hezzy. So you can do a hezzy, the Tyrese Halliburton hezzy, so. Boom, like that. You can do a crossover, so boom. Between the legs, so boom, like that. Do some escape move, and all you wanna do is watch your player take one dribble out that escape move. So I'm gonna do a Hezzy going to the right, and I'm watching my player take one dribble. So Hezzy, messed up. So Hezzy, boom, one dribble. As soon as you see your player take one dribble, shoot. That's it. You, just, you literally just wanna hold square, X, whatever, if you're on Xbox. Hold square and shoot. That's it. That's all you have to do. It's so easy, and people don't know how to do it. Hezzy, one dribble, shoot that easy bro i don't know why this is hard for some people to do like some people say like they've been practicing for seasons and they can't figure out how to do it it's it's bro it's, it's really easy like i do this by accident all the time because it's that easy so has a wonderful shoot that's it. it it catches so many people off guard you would not believe me i do this so much i kind of forget how to shoot normally like outside of a quick stop so when you shoot like when you shoot off of a quick stop like this your shot is a little bit slower and like i've gotten so used to just shooting at a quick stop because i do it so often I, it it'd be throwing me off just shooting like a normal shot. So like I even just missed that. Like, but yeah, if you want to do like a crossover, so escape cross, one dribble, shoot. That easy, bro. And so the thing which makes this move overpowered, like the quick stop overpowered, you can start at like the midi. So like I can start right here and I can end up at the three point line in quick stop. So I'll try to do it. So boom, I did a quick stop right there. I got a load up right there. I don't know why, but boom at the midi, quick stop, three. You, you see how broken that is? It's very, very overpowered and a lot of people don't know how to do it. Between the legs, one dribble, shoot. Please master this move. All right, I'm gonna let you know you should master it. I don't want people doing this to me because you can't contest it, it's very broken. If you learn this move, instantly makes you 10 times better. All right, now we're gonna go over left stick cancel, L2 cancel, and defox spam. Oh my God. Starting off, the left stick cancel. So it's gonna look like this right here. Um. There's actually like two ways to do it, but I'm only gonna teach you the way I know how to do it because doing the other way, you can't do it on the wings. Like I'm gonna show you, when you do it the other way, you can like really spam the crossover. So 
you can like spam it like that but I'm, I'm not gonna show you how to do it because it's just gonna set you up for failure so i'm telling you the way that i do it and pretty much it's doing an escape move but like canceling out of the escape move animation so i'm gonna do it between the legs and go to the right so boom and i'm gonna take one dribble going to the going to the right so i'm gonna do the between the legs take one dribble boom but you don't even want to once you see your player like start moving to the right or start moving to the direction you did the escape in you just want to do an escape and go the opposite way or go the way you just came from so i'm gonna do it between the legs see my player like start moving that direction then just go right back to the left so boom boom like that boom boom like that boom boom it's really easy or it's easy to me now that I know how to do it, but that's how you do the less to cancel. And then you just want to run out of it. So you got to practice running out of it. So you'll do it between the legs. So like, boom, and then just run out of it. it you hold R2 the entire time. Let me, let me put it like that. Hold R2 the entire time. Um, do your first escape, take a dribble, go the other way. Boom, boom. Or you don't even take a dribble. Like you like, as soon as you see your player start moving in that direction. So boom, he's moving in that direction. I just want to go the opposite way. So like that and then you just keep running so and then you can start spamming it so um like that it's it's gonna take time learning how to do this i'm not gonna lie it's really easy to do learning it it might take you some time when you figure it out you're gonna be like oh my god th that was really easy okay so that's the left stick cancel if i didn't explain it good please just watch someone else's video because it's not an essential move to know how to do but it's very very broken because i like to do this off the inbound like on the ones they'll check me the ball and i'll fake like i'm going to the right so do that and then just quickly go to the left and quick stop or normally i'll try to quick stop very that i've scored I, i've scored way too many points like that easily like a couple thousand points just doing this so just uh, boom boom and normally a quick stop i'm messing up oh yeah if you mess up on a quick stop that's what's gonna happen you're gonna fade so that's why you kind of have to master that quick stop because if you start messing up you are going to fade just like that so that's the left stick cancel now the l2 cancel the left stick cancel keeps you in place like this like you can only stay in like this little confined area with the left stick cancel i can run over here and run just just change directions just like that behind the back i can just between the legs like that go over there cross over you're not i'm not confined to just staying right here and changing directions really quickly i'm messing up there we go to so do the l2 cancel it's man it's so easy it oh man i don't know why it's so hard to figure out at first but to do it if the ball is in my right hand no let's go left hand the ball's in my left hand i'm gonna do some escape actually you don't have you don't have to do an escape move you can just run over to the right all right you don't have to do any escape you can just keep running and then do the do the l2 so like that you just want to run to any direction i'm gonna run to the right and as soon as i want to hit the l2 cancel i'm gonna hold l2 for like i don't know a second or two so i'm gonna run over hold l2 boom i'm gonna speed boost out of it so you can like clearly see me holding l2 so speed boost Hold L2, boom. Once you hold L2, all you want to do is either do a behind the back, do it between the legs, or do a crossover. Any of those. So I'm going to do it between the legs. Hold L2, boom. Just like that. Practice doing that. If you can get to this step right here, where your player just does that, boom, you're good. You're you're on track. If you can, if you can get your player to just, yo, get out my way. If you can get your player to just, boom, do that, you're perfect right now once you get your player to just fully stop moving after that between the legs now we want to practice running out the l2 so to run out the l2 all you want to do is you have to remember that you're you're switching directions so we're going to start holding our left analog stick diagonally up to the left so i'm going to do the move boom between the legs oh, i messed up do the move between the legs and then just start running up diagonally up left and you hold r2 the entire time you don't let go of r2 at all you hold it the entire time so boom like that look at my hand cam it's I, it's really easy i don't i don't know how to explain it any better than that you just want to get to the point boom your player stops and then you just start running it, it's I mean, it's really easy i mean you let go of l2 so you you let go of l2 once you see your player once you see your player did the crossover or between the legs whatever once you see he did that animation let go of l2 so seen him do it boom seen him do it boom that's how you do it it's really it's like it's like three steps really easy i'm telling you if you figure out how to do it you're gonna be like bro this is the easiest thing ever because it, it's not hard at all you don't have to change your key binds or your you don't have to change your l2 to your l1 or your l2 to your d-pad whatever don't don't do that just keep it as l2 and like i said once you figure out how to do it you can do the behind the back out of it you can 21 speed boost into a l2 so 21 like that boom do something for me and I mean, it's a very broken move. You just got to master it. You got to learn how to do it. And once again, if you don't, if I'm not teaching you a good way to do it, please be my guest and watch someone else's video because this move is actually 
probably the most overpowered move in the game outside of like a drop step or something but that's the l2 cancel and then finally the De'Aaron fox i dropped my controller and i accidentally clicked pause on recording so i didn't actually capture the De'Aaron fox spam but i went over it in, in my last double touch so if you really want to learn how to do it just watch those i'm so sorry uh, just being stupid my fault y'all all right man if this video helped y'all out this took me an hour to record <laughs> please drop a like and subscribe i'm begging you please like i said it's being boy gp3 we're on that ground at 100,000 subs we're almost there please let me know anything in the comments i'm gonna drop chapters down to help everyone out and it's being boy gp3 until next time see you later man Peace.